We're going to go through how you can convert your layer structure into a tree structure so that way you can export it to other softwares. The way to do that is we have to create a tree structure first. So the easiest way is to either right click on your layers and come down here and say create assembly manager tree or in your groups you can also right click your groups and say create assembly manager tree. If you right click the layers and create it, it will look like this on the assembly manager. So it has all the layer names. If you go through the groups and export it, it will actually give you those groups with all the layers in those groups. So it looks much nicer that way. Now we'll just have to go ahead and export it. So save as. You'll change it to your export type, step, parasolid. The main thing you have to do when you go to export it is you have to change it from by parts to by assemblies. This relates to this list, whether it's going to be parts list that it's exporting or the assembly list that it's exporting. So now we're on by assemblies, you can just hit it OK. If you ever get a part from a customer and you import it in, you may wonder how can I see their tree structure, especially if their entire design comes out on one layer inside Visi. You can see this tree structure from the assembly manager on that assembly view. So after this comes in, you'll see the tree structure come in here. And there we go. We have all our layer groups here and our layers. And then we could use these then to recreate our layers.